Look, Papa, if you want to go home, it's okay. I should have known better than to think that we could come out here and spend a peaceful weekend together. Good. Well, start the truck and put this stuff on it. You know, I couldn't wait to get out here in the woods, and now I can't wait to get home. You're a pain. And I want to go home and get my nice warm bed. I don't care what you say. Let's pack the stuff. Yeah. with you. Well, I got good news and I got bad news. First, the bad news. The truck won't start. Well, what's the good news? We'll always know where it is. <laughs> Son, if the truck won't start, then call the auto club. Are you kidding me, Pop? We're 50 miles from the nearest telephone. Well, don't use the nearest telephone. Get one closer. <laughs> you don't even need a telephone. Stop it. We got food for a couple of days. There's plenty of water in the brook. It could be a lot worse, you know. Worse? That's right. Look, we ain't got no truck. We fighting this cold weather. There's hardly any food at all now. What could be worse? Well, it could snow. Uh-uh. Impossible. <laughs> you catch anything? Not even a nibble. Yeah, you probably scared them all the way dressed like that. <laughs> you said there'd be somebody here to help us. And that was two days ago. Yeah, I know, Pop. And we out of food. Well, if we had rationed off those hot dogs like we were supposed to, we'd still have some food left. Maybe some bear ate them. Yeah, sure, some bear ate them. If a bear ate them, there wouldn't have been a knife in the mustard jar. <laughs> well, son, you, you know I can't miss my midnight snack. Now, what, what are we gonna do? Well, I guess we'll have to eat plants. Good, good. We'll eat plants. Are you crazy? <laughs> no, Pop, it says in the campus manual that plants provide a natural source of food. I tell you, man, I'm starving. I'm gonna try it. I'll try one of these boards. Ah. That's not bad. What did your campus manual say about dying? Come on, Pop, stop talking with you. Hey, listen. I saw a movie once where two guys had a chance to escape from Iwo Jima. And, and, and one of them was a young guy, and he was strong. Another guy was old and weak. The old man turned to the young man. He said, listen, I know I'm slowing you down. And I know you could make it if I wasn't slowing you down. So just leave me with the rifle and one bullet. Ah. And, and when the Japanese were only about 100 yards away, the young guy gave the old man the rifle and one bullet and ran. And son, I'm gonna tell you, young fella hadn't gotten no more than about 20 yards away when you heard the rifle sh shoot. The old man killed himself? No, he shot the young man in the behind. <laughs> 